welcome back to Scoting Gaming. Today, I'm just going to do a brief walkthrough of pretty much my stats. I've, I've been asked a few times in Global um, what it is that, that I put my points into. So we're just going to take a quick look at that. And in this playthrough, I've done I've done zero of any of this right here. Um, what one stamina, one stamina regen. But these were early in the game when I was being more stealthy. Uh, I do have max backpack, um, zero heal wounds. But I also, when I started my character, you'll notice the name right here. Um, I made sure and found a perk that gave me the health regeneration. It gave me health regeneration level 3. Or maybe 4. Because I've never bought health generation. So I, I have 3. I don't have the last one. But the name generation, um, because this is really expensive, I know a lot of people go for SP or whatever. Different tribes or that crap. Uh, I go for the things that I know cost a lot of SP and health regen in the early stages of the game is invaluable. Uh, so I have max damage. Uh, I'm working on max accuracy right now. As a matter of fact, I think I can get it. There we go. Max accuracy. Um, in scouting, the I did get the spyglass, but this was more like mid-game when uh when i was still still not bringing the war parties with me and i never use it honestly so endurance i do use because i do have um concentration which isn't this one but uh, reveal territory uh, i think is amazing the bigger it is obviously the more you see i don't i don't feel i need the max because, I mean, who cares if I see a little bit more? I see everything around me. Let me make sure to put this on pause. That way things aren't happening while I'm explaining this to you guys. I, I don't really care about improved grab. Because if I'm in a hand-to-hand -hand combat, up close and personal, as you may have noticed in some of my videos, I don't, I don't hit the right trigger. Uh, I don't hit them with my knife. And just shoot them with my bow. If I'm going to grab him, I grab him when I sneak up on him. So I don't get it. Endurance again. I do use it, but I use it because of the concentration. Which, I'm not even sure where it is. So, I did get this one, the Intimidation. Because without it, while you're taking care of camps, uh, it's just too slow without at least level 1. I do want to work on this one. I wonder if I have any social built up. Only 3,000. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pull it out unless I need it. Um, this is where I spend most of my points, other than obviously right here, uh, the gathering. We've got max gathering. Uh, I'm working on this one right here. This is probably gonna be my next. Next is warrior weight because giving them weapons that I can't carry, my horse and I can't carry everything, even though we can carry a lot, because I do have max weight, uh, early on, it really, really helps out. Um, I also take this one, uh, probably going to work on this one after bags, but honestly, by the time I get this one, I might not even need this because the game's almost over. But it is really nice to take uh, early on, not too early, because if you do it too early and your camps aren't growing, then they become overpopulated. Kind of like bear camp right here and right here. But these guys are just, they're overpopulated because they're, they're sent out working just like that. Bear camp right here, they're going to go out working. So as you can see, I keep these groups overpopulated on purpose, but if you keep their orders, which is another thing I'll be going through here shortly, um, if you keep their tribe orders out, you can keep, like, how many people do I have working at this one? Chwila. Uh oh, only nine working. 
quite a few times I have more than 30 people in this tribe and they're all out working so you only see a couple here but this is my main tribe where I keep everything which is another thing that I will recommend um, consolidation of all of your goods especially the things for crafting um, of course when when your other tribes are out and you have them doing orders they'll continually be gathering and crafting so then you can just go up here and let's say like Palmer, right? So I, I keep the majority of my weapons at the main camp and I just pull them out there and then I disperse them uh, to the different tribes and the higher weapons, higher tier weapons, I keep on what I call my red territory. So this is, well that should be, they should be red, like that red, red, I didn't even name this one, and I just made this one, these two last night, so I haven't named them yet either. But as they go back, I level them, like level one. Uh, you saw level two down here. Uh, level three comes out, Bear Clan. I also named this for Bear Clan because this is where I get bear hide. Uh, horse is over here because these are the guys that give me the horse. Where are they? Right here horse clan these are the ones I send out to gather horses but it ended up that that's just too slow it doesn't happen you know like I can't get the horse from here to another place in a timely fashion so I've resorted to as I as I take new areas as you can see right here six horses you see right here eight horses as I kill the different caravans and patrols. I take their horses and I bring them back to the areas and give them the horses. Seven horses. Not all of them have horses, but there's eight. There's eight. You know what I mean? So I keep the horses up front. So if I need to, they can fast move inward and take their property instead of running around on foot where I find that they linger. And when they linger, they're more likely to get killed. So, I keep the horses up front. Anyways, back to the skills. Um, tribe gathering I have really high. Um, I could go for the final one, but again, I'm towards the end of the game. So, really, this is, this is the next one that I'm going to be going for, is warrior weight. That way, when I'm taking out these guys, I can take their weapons, store them within my war parties that I keep with me. And then Hunter, I mean, dude, besides concentration level one, you know, I don't have any of these things. Oh, Sneak. But again, this is uh, this is the very beginning of the game. I got Sneak uh, level one or two at the very beginning. Because again, that was before I was using War Parties, which also came in with the Endurance and Stamina. Um, because I ran around and did everything as a solo warrior until I built up big enough that I had the extra uh, warriors to be able to run war parties the way that I run them. And you can see, but you can't actually see because my overlay is in the way. But I have right here war party one, war party two. And War Party 3. War Party 3 only has three people. One of them died. The other two are full up at four. Um, and then I keep them armed with all of them stun arrows. Just like myself. Because my theory is one, you get more experience for intimidation instead of killing. So I kill as infrequent as possible. What's my inventory like? Carry two bows because they break quite often. So I keep a good amount of stun arrows. I do keep uh, medium arrows for in case, because sometimes, like in that hour long video I made, uh, I mean dude, it, it's like an hour before you can even save because there's so many people around you in these scenarios that like both of my bows will break 
before I'm done fighting. So then I'll be forced to kill. But even in that scenario, what I do is I pack my horse. Instead of using him as a pack meal for collecting goods, I actually use him for backup. Backup healing, um, backup arrows, backup bows. Uh, I have his health, you know, so I can feed him if he's if he gets injured. Uh, I love that your horse at the very beginning. The horse would, if he died, he died, and there was no healing. Well, now there's healing. Oh, my brother is inviting me to a party. I'll have to send him a text and end this video real soon. We're gonna go play some PUBG. The other thing I do is a uh, long-lasting campfire. I keep one of these around because when I go into these areas, and let's say I'm over here, right? I'm gonna go take these guys out. If me or my warriors or whatever are uh, over encumbered, we can't take any more after taking this and this out. Because to take this out and burn it down, it's so close to this, I'll have to also take this out at the same time, which now I have these three groups that are also in here. So I'm going to be taking out these guys, these guys, these guys, these guys, these guys. And in that amount of time, before I get all the way back, I'm not going to be able to drop off all the weapons and keep all the weapons and parts that I want to. So you put out one of those campfires. Let's say you come over here just far enough out of range. So it allows you to use the campfire. You drop the campfire. One thing you do is every time you use a campfire, make sure you grab another campfire, put it back into the horse. That way the next time you need one, it's there. So all it does is make a temporary camp. So you can then unload all your weapons and then keep looting. One of the things you can do is burn all these down and then use the campfire. I mean, it's multi purpose you know you could use it for emergency save maybe you're out here and you're exploring well put your campfire down and save and then leave if you need to the other thing is orders no I'm not trying to fast travel the other thing is orders um, early on in the game you need arrows right so this was my first first thing the first thing they tell you to do is make bows. Well, the first thing I unlocked in crafting was the hunter's bow instead of the wooden bow. Like, screw the wooden bow. Hunting bow takes two sinew, right? So I gave my warriors in the camp the wooden bow that I made, uh, made myself another one, and then sent them out hunting right away. And then I set up this order. And when you set up the order, you create this order right it'll say hunters bows but that goes into your objectives up here and when it's in your objectives when you say what it, it's still here man collect wooden bows so this is one of the things that I see people not doing in the beginning of the game is creating an order that shows you where the wood are there's the wood you know because when you're new to the game you don't know where the wood is. You know, there's the flax. You know, you don't have to guess. It just shows you automatically where the wood, where the flax is, and you don't even have to freaking you don't guess, dude. It, it's all right there for you. The game is really simple. It's really intuitive. Um, let's say I want a prickly pears. Create an order for prickly pears, and it'll show you prickly pears. And then, furthermore, in orders, the other thing is, like, when you when you go to upgrade your camp, right, you have specific ones. So you need to upgrade this one, you need a boar, tusk, stags, and whatever. So you need to find the little symbols around your camps, like, this camp is good for getting bear. So I have bear claw. Granted, right now, I'm keeping them getting more important things to me, because I have a lot of bear. early game, you just set up the things that you need. Anyways, 
I mean, if you need more uh, instructions on the orders, let me know. If there's something I skipped that you didn't see, let me know. Other than that, see you guys next time. Lim Limbs.